Hey, what's going on, everybody? Red Rondo Music here, bringing you another video. Today, we're back on some Forza Horizon 4, almost said 3. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we're in our badass Ford Focus RS that we got last episode. Also, got the Ferrari 250 GTO in my first super wheel spin. So, we have a net worth of about $10 million in assets, but we have about a million in the Gitas. Now, I will say I've been just zipping around through here, uh, just cruising for a moment while I was waiting for last episode to finish buffering and rendering and all that. I gotta say, I really like the social aspects of this game. Like, you can kind of just do, like, the quick chat thing, like, here, we'll just hit somebody with some some awesome, even though somebody's not anywhere near us. And I like that. You can kind of just like... It's a little more formal to cruise with somebody than in the previous games where you just kind of got like somebody following you around. And you couldn't really tell if they just wanted to kill you or if they wanted to just cruise. Let's see what this guy's doing. Oh, he's going that way. Let's get out of third. We're just sitting in it. Yeah, I kind of like the social aspects. It's pretty good. I wish there was a little more. I don't really know what, honestly, but it's cool. It's a cool vibe. It's very car enthusiast-like. Because in most cases, car enthusiasts just kind of want to, like, talk about cars with people and stuff. And that's just kind of how it goes. Like, you go to, like, a Cars and Coffee, and sometimes you'll get, like, a douche that's just like, Yeah, I have this, like, $12 million car. Or you get people that are like, oh, that like, whatever is cool, like, what year is it, and stuff like that. Like, oh, why'd you go with this paint, and yada yada, and it's cool. And this game kind of gives you that vibe. Uh, let's get this music off before I get sued. I do have streamer mode on, which adds, like, I, th I think it's royalty-free music. I can't really tell. It says it gives us another radio station. And I would assume that's what that means, but... Now, my friend did tell me that his friend was saying that if you go through, like, a tunnel in this game, it'll duck down your music and give your car, like, the dominant role in the audio. Which is another thing that's car enthusiasts like. Like, if you've ever seen Top Gear or literally anything involving a car and driving it through a tunnel, you know that that sound is what it's all about. We're still kind of grinding gears a little bit. I did throw a clutch in here last episode, but doesn't seem to be doing the trick. Okay. I feel like Michael Scott right now with the... He just drove his, like, Chrysler into a river, but... I just blindly followed that GPS to a lake. No problem. Alright, we need a little torquey torque in this thing. We need some turbos or something. We're not... I want to drift a little more, and this car is just not giving it to me. We could do, like, some weight transfer and stuff like that, but I want power. Now, for those of you that have the wheel, I'm using Control Layout 3, and, uh, yeah, that seems to be, like, the best option if you have the stick to shift, because then you get your right paddle as your handbrake rather than just another shifting. And we're going to be doing our first showcase event right here. I don't know if I mentioned that, but here we are. We're going to run this solo. Because it's actually 3.30 or 3.48 in the morning. And nobody's online. Though I could just kind of get somebody. That looks hilarious. Let me just say that. Possible thumbnail. Uh, that was so funny to see that thing just pull up. Like, yeah, I'm, mm, I'm here. For some reason this game keeps getting, like, quiet for me, and I'm not touching my volume at all. It's just I wish there was a little more oomph. Although I do see the volume quite high in the recording software, so you guys aren't really getting that. More or less me, and I don't know what it is. Yeah, that looks so goddamn cool. Uh, blind drop. We could just land in a house for all I know. Um, downside to first person. Got this guy there. This probably is a six speed, though I know a lot of off roady trucks use five. I'm hoping we have that extra gear because we're going to need it real quick. 
There goes that thing. Hopefully we got that checkpoint. We did. This game's pretty strict nowadays with those. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How much does that hovercraft thing cost? Because I want one. Unfortunately, I don't think we can own it in the game. But I'm also not talking about the game. I want to drive that thing to go to, like, dinner or something with some friends. I'm scared I'm going to hit it. I don't know if it's possible to hit it, but I'm scared I'm going to. It's stressing me out. Oh my god, now it's really stressing me out. Excuse me, pal. Don't eat me. What happens if that thing hits your car? Do you just bounce off, or do you get, like, sucked into it? Perhaps it's something to test, eventually. Not when I'm actually doing this for... Mission purposes. We just had a deer run in front of us. So we'll say a, the wildlife is a lot. Oh no! There we go. We hit it. No need to test it. You just bounce off. I guess those things are like full of air. I thought they would just be like a little softer. Like maybe you could like go under it and probably die. <laughs> oh my god! The body roll in this thing. We just, like, unlock some new level of suspension in that. Like, we were not hitting that at all, and then we just, like, put it on the bars. I feel like we're driving, like, a dirt car and something. Like, I just murdered that Christmas tree. Okay, please get out the way. How do we pass this thing? Alright, in usable showdown fashion, I think we just got the win handed to us. Because we were Four up that thing's ass until it Airman just slowed down. Day of the week. I never doubted you for I'll take it though. I love that stupid gamer picture. It's so funny. <laughs> well, don't stop now. What am I going to tell people if our brand new showcase champion doesn't qualify for the Horizon Winter season? Here we are. Find us a new race. We do have more of those super wheel spins, but I kind of want to hold off on those because I don't really know how many we get or how to get more. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but we're going to be grinding gears a lot just because this game is really weird with shifting. Um, you have to wait quite a bit of time before you get back on the gas and shift. Uh, it's a little weird. Don't know why. Though I do think the last game was like that as well, The Last Horizon. I completely forgot what blueprints were until they just said that. Like, I was looking at that in the last episode, I was like, oh yeah, blueprints, huh? That thing looks tough in that picture. I do want to change the color. White doesn't really complement the wide body on this. Though, the M2 with a wide body, like there is a specific build of an M2 that I've seen on Instagram, and I'm sure other people have too, because the guy's like blowing up. He has the body kit I would put on an M2. Like I've known about the body kit since a while. And this dude has it on a white M2, and it looks so good. I think his name is M2 Ghost. There might be an underscore in the middle there or something. Somewhere around there. And it looks so mean. Personally, I would do it on a black car, but I feel like black would probably hide it too much. So maybe I'd go with, like, that heritage-style, like, deep purple uh, BMW color. We're just zipping through here. I might have to change the difficulty. I don't know what they're on. I bumped my difficulty stuff all the way up, and then I changed down what I like. So I don't know where they're at, but... Sorry if you hear me aggressively shifting through gears. Uh, that's that's the emotion right there. That's that raw emotion. This game is bringing it out of me. Nah, this is just like a very like mechanical shifter. The Thrustmaster ones. Just metal on metal. And it's much better than me using the paddles. I'll we'll hit the paddles.
I still gotta figure out how to mic myself when I use the wheel, because I don't like how much it's, like, in the mic. Yeah, we're gonna have to take a look at these bots. We're just blowing them away right now. I'm not even going that hard. For a while, I wasn't even fully on the gas. I am digging this game, though. Let me know if you guys picked it up in the comments. And like I said, be sure to add me. We could cruise sometime or something. Maybe you just hop in my lobby. I don't know how that works. We're just dominating right now when we got that money. Start making purchases. Though I'm not really... I don't feel motivated to buy another car. Like, I'm f satisfied with the Focus. It's such a well-rounded car. Especially as the first car you can pick. Now, they have the TTS. They don't have the TTRS. If it was the TTRS, that would have been the definite one. Because that thing murders stuff now. Now, I do definitely... This map is definitely smaller. It's gotta be. Because, I mean, in the last game, we had... Uh, there was like three, four, three or four different locations, and the map was like broken into them. Like you would go, f like you'd win in one area and then get the next area. And I kind of, I don't know if that was like why it felt bigger or if it was actually bigger and that's why they had it split like that. But I think it's definitely due to the level of detail in this. Like, this game feels scaled differently. I feel like they finally increased our field of view, because I can actually see out of this thing. Uh, even the detail as far as, like, beyond our gauges there, and that little thing on top, that little roof thing. You can see that in the windshield, and I don't remember that ever being really a thing. Like, you can see the little indents in the center of the screen. That's insane detail, and I'm on performance mode, too, so... You would expect it to be a little uglier, but it's it's still decent. I don't really know what graphics mode does. Turn right. I haven't really bothered to find out, because, I mean, it looks great now. This is hands down one of the best looking games. I assume graphics mode just does a little smoothing. Like, our wheel isn't perfectly round. It's got a little bit of jaggedness to it. Turn left. But I don't really notice. Still don't really know how the seasons work in this. I don't know if it's like a time thing or if we just kind of get... Well, it's obviously got to be because my career can't affect other people's weather. Because there's millions of people. What happens if we get through all of the autumn stuff and then we're just like stuck? Then that kind of limits how much money you can make. Not really because you can just keep doing things over and over again, but... We'll say that Civic looks really good in blue. Like, I do not like that car. I don't. I just don't. It looks funny. It seems to be the general consensus of it. But it looks hot in that blue. I'm not gonna lie. These are tight corners for this all-wheel drive. Oh, I'm like somebody's sidewalk right now. I'm actually struggling through these turns with this thing. We don't, can't really build up the speed that the Focus has. Just because I have to, like, prepare for turns way earlier due to the understeer. Now, obviously, I could just put the differential out of whack and put it all towards the rear. Got a Renault on our left. I'm personally a fan of Renault. Wish they would come here. We're also getting body slammed by it, which is not what I would expect after complimenting him. Through that thing. Had to downshift aggressively, missed the gate. Weight transfer is actually very, like, crucial in this game, I'm noticing. Well, once again, we're gonna pick up the win. Definitely taking a look, look at the bots after this one. Wonder how much more customization there is in this game versus the other ones. Does that mean we get that Huracan if I get that level? Because I want the Huracan. One of my favorite cars. I wish they had the Performante. Don't think they do. I've been scouring the satellite maps for barns around the festival and I found one. What? I mean, statistically, there's a decent chance there's a classic car in it, right? Do I have a tire that average? We could have been getting so much more money. What do they go to? Go to expert and see what happens. Um, 
barn find we'll save for episode three of this i'm gonna wrap this one up here if you guys like seeing forza horizon 4 on the channel make sure you hit that like button down below let me know what you think of it so far also let me know how you want me to do these videos whether you want me to just continue through the game like this or if you want to see specific things if you want me to look into something, show it off to you before you pick up the game or something, let me know because I'll be willing to do that. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below as well so you get notified for when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching. See y'all next time. Peace.